for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, go down to u7buy.com. Link is down below in the description. And make sure to use code VISA at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, guys? Viz here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, welcome to FIFA 22, but it's on Xbox 360. You ever wonder what it's like to play FIFA on not just old gen, but old, old gen, okay? This is 360. Graphics. This is, this is essentially FIFA. I want to say it's FIFA 14. I think it's FIFA 14, but they mod it in a way that it's got the brand new kits, brand new badges, basically the same graphics, but they change all the menus as if it's FIFA 22. This is what it looks like right now. Of course, this is, I believe, there is a very big Spanish community in terms of modding. Every single mod that I see that's from like a, a FIFA in like PS2 or a video like this, it's always done by your Spanish um, community. So, fair play to this lad right here who's made this. And just look at the graphics. And of course, there's a few things that will be absolutely perfect, but it looks really good. Like, you can, you can tell by the models and the menus that this is essentially from, like, a, a FIFA. I, I'm very confident this is 14, essentially. But they've done a fantastic job of having the actual menus look like it's still 21. Like, look at the, look at Mo Salah there. Look at Bernardo Silva. Of course, they've actually changed the actual skin and, you know, the actual look of their face and try to update it to what it looks like now. Because it's not perfect. You can tell by the look of Salah that's... He doesn't look 100%. He still looks a bit off. Of course, there's United up next. I think they're going to go pick Spurs. And then we got ourselves up the one and only Scott McTominay. Of course, that's who you wanted with the Man United home kit and also away kit and also third kit. So what an absolute fantastic job this is. And it's just weird to look at. This is what FIFA would look like if we still had OG graphics, which I think is really interesting. Having a look here in, I believe we're going all the way over to Spain. Let's look at Atletico Madrid and Sevilla. We have, of course, the new kits here. And honestly, I'm very impressed by the work they've done here. And I'm very looking forward to see how the actual, the, how the actual gameplay looks, because I imagine it'd be very similar. Even some overlaps of different kind of things they had back in those days. Here comes the kits, Barca kit, and also the Real Madrid kit. And, and I mean, that's supposed to be Usman Nebella. And you, you could tell there's something wrong. They've even got the Barcelona kit, which they don't have in the actual FIFA game right now. So, of course, they could add whatever kit they so wish. Let's have a look here. Let's go pick a game. Let's go pick PSG versus Manchester United. Of course, the actual badge of, like, the Jordan and the PSG kit looked a bit weird. Here's the FIFA 14 menus and also the, the teams here. See, Neymar and Bappe, because they actually changed the, the faces of the players, which is completely accurate now. It's not like an old face. I'm very impressed with what they've done here. Uh, let's go and change the team now. So, Neymar left mid, Messi is a calm, and Bappe right mid and a cardio up top. Very interesting tactic right here. And then Genie ran out him as a CDM. And that should be the rest of the team done. And just adding Sergio Ramos. And that is the setup legendary difficulty, four minutes. And honestly, looking into the stadiums here, you can even see some stadiums that are added in since then. So, of course, we can see the likes of Hud Huddersfield in there, West Ham. So, they've added in all the different stadiums that typically wouldn't be in this version of the game. This is the Xbox 360, of course. They didn't have these kind of graphics back then. I think the last Xbox 360 game, I think it was... Actually, was it 15? You can find out if the arena... Wait, that looks like 13. Wait a second. This arena is FIFA 13. I think they've modded FIFA 13 here. We could tell. I think they have. This will, this will tell us. They got the old ESPN, so they've even modded that. Oh my good lord. I actually can't tell what FIFA this is from. I actually can't tell. The graphics look to me like it could be 13. Definitely not 15. I think it is 13. And here's kickoff here with the Xbox 360 graphics. Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo up top as well. And let's see if we can see a goal here. Look at the passing. Looks so fast. Ronaldo full goal already. And it's a good block there already. Kimi down to Mbappe. Mbappe trying to cool it in. And that is a good save. Of course, the actual ad boards are also changed. And here is... A corner, and the corner actually is a new one. It's not the OG corners that you can actually see from behind the actual taker. So, I don't know exactly what this is. I think they've modded it so well, because this is this has to be a mod if it's back in Xbox 360. That whoever made this is very, very, very talented. Even the ad boards are also changed, which is very impressive. I see Real Madrid as a stadium. Actually, I think we are actually at Madrid. The free kicks is the old free kick system. So we've got the old free kick system alongside the new corner system. 
absolutely incredible. Hakimi down to Verratti. Verratti, you can tell by just how they, they move with the ball. It's so fast. Verratti almost scores from a tight angle just there. Of course, we're all here to see a goal, but it was Ronaldo in behind. Can he get past? Sets off Marcus Rashford, who shoots from range. Very poor shot there by Rashford. Verratti on the ball down to Neymar. Neymar, which a very different hair colour right there. He's got like a, maybe it's an old version of him. Icardi just couldn't get on target. And here we go. Neymar cutting inside. Trying to make some space. He passes it off to Kozava, who's just on side. He holds a play up here. He goes backwards, trying to find some space. He, he sees Verratti. He takes a touch and he hits on his right foot. And that is in the back of the net. PSG 1, Manchester United 0. And that is... I'm, I, I, I'm, still, I'm still confused. He's dabbing. He's dabbing? I don't even know what FIFA this is supposed to be from because dabbing definitely was not in the game back in FIFA 13 or 14. Whoever made this has like linked together like a bunch of features from other games and celebrations. I'm actually very impressed. And this is actually such good work, this. Fair play, lad. I'll leave a link down below in the description to this if you're interested. Of course, it is all in Spanish, so... I, you may not understand, but you know I'm sure it, I'm sure we'll try. And they and those are the minions right there, which could be 13 or 14 for all I know. And there you go, boys. That is FIFA 22, but it is on the Xbox 360. Tell me down below in the comments what's your thoughts, because this is very interesting. I, I always enjoy seeing this and just seeing what would life be like. If we didn't have the new age of technology, it's what we do nowadays. I always enjoy seeing stuff like this. So tell me down below in the comments what's your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Stay safe and peace out.